Oh, I'm a vegetarian, no, except for fish and the occasional steak. I love steak. With Tim Hortons having recently added Beyond Meat, plant-based burgers, and breakfast sausages to their menus, we decided to do a deep dive on Beyond Meat. So let's check out the top 10 untold truths of the Beyond Meat burger. I ain't never had one myself, how are they? Beyond Meat since 2009. That's like 10 years old. Beyond Meat was founded in 2009 by Ethan Brown. Don't think of this creation as a one-man band. No, he's had quite a bit of help along the way. There have been several well-known investors who plonked down considerable amounts of money to get the company off the ground. Biz Stone, Bill Gates, and even the Humane Society were the investors to make it all happen. It shouldn't come as a surprise that the Humane Society would invest in something that could potentially result in the slaughter of a lot fewer animals. Being humane to animals is kind of their thing. I can't stay mad at such a helpless little mammal. The obvious corporation, Kleiner, Perkins, Caulfield and Byers, and even Tyson Foods were also investors. What's surprising about this is Tyson Foods is a well-known producer of chicken, and they did sell their 5% stake in the company before Beyond Meat's initial public offering. So they are no longer in the business of fake meat. Now as a chicken, this concerns me. Beyond Meat is 100% vegan. You shouldn't eat things that feel pain. <laughs> Okay, we won't eat you. What does it mean that their products are vegan? It means that there are no animal products in anything Beyond Meat sells. That means not only are you not going to find any meat in them, you also won't find things such as eggs or milk. All of the meat substitutes they sell are made from vegetable matter. Well, there are things in them other than vegetables. It takes quite a few machines to produce fake meat. No one will ever say that this isn't highly processed food. In that sense, they have a whole lot in common with the McRib. Sure, it's pork, but you know that it's not rib meat. Think smaller. Think more legs. No matter how much they shape the patty to look like ribs, no one is fooled into thinking they're eating pork ribs. So what exactly is in Beyond Meat? Well, it starts with pea protein isolates. Doesn't that sound yummy? Put your bib on because you may drool all over yourself while hearing the other ingredients. There's also coconut oil in the product, as well as beet juice. Really? Beet juice? Yes, that's part of what makes the meat look like it's bleeding when it's cooked. They thought of everything when it comes to making sure their meat looks like the real thing. And it crumbles in your mouth, just like the real thing. A wide variety of Beyond Meat products. You're welcome to search my beef case, but there's mutton in there. The surprising thing about Beyond Meat is they've thought way beyond the hamburger bun. Many other companies trying to pull off the same thing have focused only on burgers. Beyond Meat has ventured past the burger and has taken on some pretty interesting challenges. Those challenges have resulted in meatless products that may take the public by surprise. Everyone knows the Beyond Burger, as that's what they're most famous for. Did you know there's also Beyond Sausage? It comes in Brat Original and Hot Italian. These sausages are cooked and eaten exactly like the meat variety. Man, I can't beat that with a Craigslist pig! If you're looking for something that more closely resembles ground beef, they have something for you also. Beyond Beef Crumbles is like ground beef that you brown in a frying pan. It comes in feisty and beefy. Either can be used to make things like tacos, meatballs, or any dish that requires ground beef. We got too many beefs, I can't keep up. Cook Beyond Meat at home. My favorite Beyond Meat recipe is anything that I make myself. Unlike some of their competitors, Beyond Meat products are sold in supermarkets. The availability of their products means you don't have to go to a restaurant to enjoy them. It also means that you can concoct your own meatless versions of your favorite dishes. Though most of you are probably only concerned about the fast food joints serving up tasty burgers made with this meat substitute. Hold your horses, we're getting to that. If you enjoy your burger void of any beef, just know that it is possible to cook your own at home. We all have that one vegan friend who got us to try one of their meatless burgers. It was a terrible experience that we only think of during Halloween when we need to get spooked. Ah, salad! Ah! 
But don't worry, this meatless alternative doesn't taste like some weird Play-Doh cardboard hybrid. Being able to buy Beyond Meat at your local grocery store means that they're taking supply chain issues seriously. If they were only trying to keep up with the sales of restaurants, it would signal they're not ready for prime time. They have made a real commitment to the product, and that's why they're able to sell it in supermarkets from sea to shining sea. It's a remarkable feat that most companies couldn't pull off. It shows that Beyond Meat is more than a novelty product. It could change the world. A&W and the Beyond Meat Burger. Check, please. Leave it to the Canadians to beat the burger-loving Americans at their own game. The first fast food joint to sell burgers made from Beyond Meat nationwide was A&W in Canada. Their Beyond Meat burger was introduced to the burger-loving world, and it caused all kinds of ripples throughout the industry. A meatless burger isn't the first thing you think of when A&W comes to mind, though somehow they were able to change all that. I don't know how to put this. This is a huge deal if you're someone who doesn't eat meat or are looking to cut back. Breakfast lovers weren't left out of the meatless craze at A&W. Their English muffin Beyond Meat sausage and egger is a great sandwich to kick off your day with. The Golden Arches better be weak in the knees if their vegetarian customers ever get wind of this sandwich. Now you can pick up breakfast on the go without the guilt of eating meat. You're probably not thinking about that first thing in the morning. The only thing you're wondering is if A&W serves coffee coffee, or just root beer. Smells good. The Beyond Famous Star with Cheese at Carl's Jr. But a juicy charbroiled burger with a patty made from plants? Let's just clear the air and be honest about why you're going to Carl's Jr. You're not going there to eat health food. That's like saying you're eating cotton candy because you're hungry. You go to Carl's Jr. to enjoy all of your guilty pleasures. Where else can you congregate with people who love mammoth burgers as much as you do? You can't take one of their sandwiches to the park or anywhere in public where someone else isn't eating one. Anyone who sees you eating a Carl's Jr. sandwich will give you a dirty look unless they're eating one too. Carl! So you're not eating the Beyond Famous Star with Cheese because you want to be healthy. The large fries and soda pop that you'll order along with the sandwich aren't health food. You're going there for one reason, and it's to fill up on all the grease and all of the bad things possible. That's okay, we all have our guilty pleasures. Those of you who don't eat meat or want to eat less of it can go with this sandwich. Just keep in mind that what you're eating isn't healthy. But you already knew that long before the words crossed your lips when ordering. When the wagon of change comes, you ride along with it. TGI Fridays, the Beyond Meat Cheeseburger. Thank God it's Friday, right? Sometimes you want a burger that's better than what the fast food restaurants serve up. When that type of craving hits, that's usually when you go to a place like TGI Fridays. It's also a great place to go after work with your coworkers and let loose. Your boss may have a few too many drinks, but that means you have something to hold against them if they say anything stupid. That's how the corporate world works. If you can't outperform your coworkers, then make sure you have plenty of dirt in your back pocket on them. And then it's not a secret anymore. It's information. Anyway, enough about corporate politics. You're here for the grub. You can get a hefty meatless burger at TGI Fridays called the Beyond Meat Cheeseburger. Add to it some fries and an adult beverage of your choice, and you've almost got enough calories to last you all day long. That's not something you think about when having some fun with friends at a place like TGI Fridays. Forget about Debbie and how many pens she steals from the office. You're not the one paying for those pens. You're there to blow off some steam and and enjoy yourself. And I really could go for some enchiladas. Beyond Taco from Del Taco. The future of tacos is here. This may come as a surprise to many of you die-hard Del Taco fans. They are coming out with their own fast food items featuring Beyond Meat. For now, the locations that are offering the new meatless tacos are limited. You may want to speak to the manager of your local Del Taco if Beyond Tacos aren't on the menu. They may know if or when it's coming to a location near you. If the manager says that they will have the meatless tacos in the future, don't go hoarding all their hot sauce. There'll be plenty of it when it's 
it's time to put some on your meatless tacos. Holy cow, that is hot. Del Taco has begun serving their new Beyond Taco and Beyond Avocado Taco at certain locations. It uses the type of crumbled up ground beef substitute that we spoke about earlier. Those of you who love tacos but hate having refried beans instead of meat should give these a try. The meat substitute is 100% vegan, and you can continue the trend by ordering your tacos without the cheese. The creamy avocado would be an excellent addition for those who are seeking a vegan alternative to a ground beef taco with cheese. Hi, I'm Taco, President and CEO of Taco Corp. The Mouse House Goes Vegan. Oh, I love Disneyland. If you have children or if you're a big kid at heart, then you probably have Disney theme parks on your travel itinerary. If so, don't worry about there not being any meatless options for you to choose from. You should be glad to hear that you can eat a meatless burger when you're visiting the home of Mickey Mouse. Those who are seeking meatless alternatives while traveling know how difficult it can be. If you've got picky eaters, then you've got even more trouble on your hands. Disney theme parks have you covered, and they whip up some of the tastiest burgers in the world using Beyond Meat. The only thing that can make a visit to any Disney park even better is a burger. I've been waiting my whole life for this. It doesn't matter what you like on your burger. Enjoying a tasty sandwich after walking in the footsteps of Donald Duck or Goofy is an unforgettable moment. Going to Disney is about so much more than just the characters, as anyone who has been there knows. It's a world upon itself, and it's easy to get lost in all of it. Now the entire family can enjoy their stay at Disney. Yes, even your child who has just started their vegan craze. You thought it was to make you mad in the beginning. Now you're starting to wonder if they'll ever eat meat again. Well, that's not a concern when going to Disney. Though you may need to ask the waiter which is the beef burger and the one made using Beyond Meat, because you really will have a difficult time telling the two apart, and your kid will think they're eating beef. Just make sure you have the right burger so they don't get their hands on the wrong one. It's bad enough they're all eating meat. They don't have to rub it in my face. Beyond Chicken has flown the coop. Chicken! Many of you who are familiar with Beyond Meat and their products are probably wondering when you're going to hear more about Beyond Chicken. Make sure you're sitting down for this and maybe have a friend nearby for support as well. Beyond Chicken has been discontinued. No, you're never going to see it on the shelves again. The response to Beyond Chicken was less than desirable for the company. The only thing that made sense was to pull it off the market and discontinue continue selling it. Sadly, that's how business sometimes works. What was Beyond Chicken? It was Beyond Meat's version of meatless chicken. The surprising thing is that the chicken variety did seem to be a hit with many people. Many commented on how similarly to chicken it tasted, though some people did say that the texture of the chicken substitute was kind of like tofu. Ta-da! I've been lying the whole time! That's the primary concern of a company who's selling fake meat. The soft, spongy texture drives away many meat eaters and people who don't like that sort of thing in their mouth. Don't go crying a river just yet. It's said that they're still trying to work out the kinks of their chicken product. They have food scientists working on it right this very minute. Don't be surprised if they take another stab at selling some fake chicken in the not-so-distant future. It wouldn't be all too surprising considering all the other alternatives out there. So keep an eye out at your local grocery store and fast food restaurant. Who knows, you may see some fake chicken nuggets paired along with barbecue sauce sometime down the line. This is a tasty burger. Stick around and check out one of these other four videos. All you need to do is tap on that screen. And to join our notification squad, just hit that subscribe button and ring that bell if you're checking us out for the first time.